What's going on, everybody? Tonight, I want to address an issue with getting Resolum to send DMX Artnet out over your network. Um, making this tutorial more so because it took me a minute, minute to figure this out, and it was something really simple, and that usually is the case. Sometimes it's just like one button you have uh, set wrong, and that'll prevent you from sending it out. But um, it's been a minute since I've made a tutorial. I've been super busy, busy with installs. Right now we have an LED ceiling that I'm installing in a club in San Francisco. And we got all the wires and everything ready to go. We're just waiting on some structural stuff to be finished with the venue before we can actually go ahead. Now, I'm going to show you what we have going on. I'm actually using Entex Pixelator. And um, the setup we're going to do, I think it's really important to understand the signal flow so that we know how the setup is and where our problem is within Resolum. So this is a basic schematic of how we have things set up. This is the computer, the PC. It's running Resolum. We also have it running CamSys and TouchOSC and a few other things in the background. But this tutorial is really about uh, Resolum sending DMX out. So don't worry about this stuff. But anyway, so it's going to be a, a Resolume computer that sends um, signal out to a network switch uh, via Cat5. Uh, the network switch then sends that to the Pixelator. The Pixelator is by Entech. This is pretty amazing piece of gear. It has you know 24,576 channels it can send out of data, which is a lot. Um, using it as my processor to grab the data from Resolume, the output data, and then goes to the Entech. The Entech then will send, the Entech pixelator will then send all those universes, and I'm using a crap ton of universes, something like, I don't know, maybe 40 universes? I don't even remember, but it's a lot. So the pixelator then sends it to a P-Link, which is a small little booster. Um, the P-Link grabs power supply and then it, the P-Link sends that data out to the pixel strips. Um, we're using RGB pixel strips that, uh, how many we have? We have like 20 different strips I think, which is not a huge amount, but it's a good amount and they're all individually pixel controlled. So that's the main thing to understand. Now the whole problem I was having is that when we pull up Resolum. If we go to our output window, usually what we're going to do once we have the output, we're going to set up all our universes or Lumiverses as they're called. Um, and then if you click on a Lumiverse, you can see the output of it. And because our strip has 300, it's a 300 pixel tape strip, um, it's going to be each strip is going to take. Uh, one and change universes, right? There's like more than one universe on a five meter strip. And so our first Lumiverse is sending out. And now the basic way to do this is to just set it to broadcast and it should be sending signal out. But what I noticed is when I checked, uh, I use the art, art netometer this basically shows you where data is coming and going, and it also shows you the nodes on your network. It's a free tool you can download. Uh, I think the, if you haven't used this yet, I use it for a lot of ArtNet snooping or just checking where my ArtNet is. You can get it at lightjams.com slash ArtNetTominator. It's a free download. Anyway, all it really does is, is show you what nodes are on there and what data is being sent and you can see here when this when there's data being sent, it lights up kind of like it shows here so if we refresh this real quick you'll see that it's showing all my nodes on the pixelator and it shows the ip address of the pixelator now when you plug the pixelator in right now i have it set to dhcp which means it's just auto assigning a ip address to it i'll probably switch that over to a static address once i move all the control into the club but anyway you can see it says no activity detected it says it up here it means nothing is being shown which 
you would think it would be shown because if you look on the advanced output, it's showing that data is being sent over ArtNet. All my universes are right, and I'm still not getting data. So another way to check it, especially if you're using the Pixelator, is if you know the Pixel, when you plug the Pixelator in, it gets assigned an uh, IP address. If you plug the IP address into URL, um, you can get access to the actual controller. So the IP address that it assigned is 10.0.0.3, right? And that gets us into the NTEC Pixelator control. Um, if you go into profiles, you have to set a profile. I'm in my own profile, but I'm basically using this 48 universe PL Link 24. Um, I'm not going to go into why we're using all that. But the, the thing that I wanted to show here is if you go to the stream auditor, and what you'll see is that it's showing that the pixel link, all the P links are signal is okay. But if you look at the universes, there's no data. It's a signal lost. And that that's a good way to know that the data isn't getting from Resolum through the network onto the pixelator. So it's obviously not going to send any data out. So, you know, I asked the question, what the heck was going on here? Because it seemed like this was all right. You know, it seems like it's sending it out. Even if I type in the specific IP address, which is 10. Uh, what is it? 0 0.0.3, right? You'd think that we're getting data out, but we're not. If we go back to this, it still says no activity detected, right? And you can see there's no history of data coming in. This is actually from before. So anyway, I'm, I'm making this more long-winded than it needs to be but this is the problem that that is going on here is that if you look you need to you, Resolum needs to know what adapter the data is being broadcast on and that's the main issue and you actually don't find this in the output window the advanced output window where you do find it though if you go to arena preferences you check your DMX, right? You'll see down here, it's showing the node name, which is the arena name, but the network adapter it selected automatically was just my Bluetooth. The Bluetooth is not where the DMX data is being sent, even though this is just in the basic preferences, and even though all your other output settings are set the way they are, this is set wrong. But if we take this to the network adapter that it's actually being sent on, you'll see I'll click that, Close this. We can check this real quick again. This is all sent right, right? Are you, are we're being sent on broadcast? Um, we're not even selecting. See now, what you can see is that if I ch click down the drop down, you'll see that the pixelator is now showing up, and that's because you've already pointed Arena onto the right network. But anyway, we can keep it at broadcast. If we check our, our, um, let's save and close. If we check this, you'll see that now we're getting signal moving. There's signal being sent over all the universes, over all the universes on the arena. And that's basically what we wanted. So now we're all good. And now if we check the pixelator, which is back here, you'll see that this now says signal OK, whereas before it said signal loss. And so, and the reason that these universes, so I'm using 39 universes, the, the rest of the universes here up to 47, there's no data on it because I'm not using them. So this is 39 universes being sent over one cat five out of arena, Resolum Arena, into the network and into the pixelator, which then sends it to multiple uh, 20 different P links, which then sends those to 20 different strips. So anyway, that is my little explanation on how to make sure you're getting data out of Resolum, but we're all good now. Now we have we have nothing to worry about. Everything is going. We can plug the the pixel strips in, and it's going to look good. Anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give us give me a follow, uh, like, subscribe. I ha I can give you so much more information on how this pixelator works. I'll be updating some stuff on the install that we recently did, and you know follow on Instagram. There's some pics on there of the build. I believe I I've been posting more. A little bit down the road something that i'm noticing about i'm not noticing just i'm aware of is that a lot of these venues that i'm working at that are brand new or being renovated they don't want the public to seeing you know what their place looks like before it's completed 
So I might actually set a Patreon up and give a lot of data or a lot of information on what, you know, clubs don't want to be seen or known behind the scenes. So if anyone would be interested in hearing that stuff or following something like that, I'll make it cheap or whatever on Patreon. Then I can show some, you know, kind of behind the scenes inside scoop stuff. You also probably hear me complaining about some of the club owners that I'm working with and the bullshit they put uh, people who do installs through. So anyway, hope this was helpful to all of you. I know that sometimes it's just one click away from being successful and it's enough to make you want to pull your hair out. That's about it for me. Have a good night. Uh, if anyone needs a, an install in a club, let me know. Flowskate88. I will talk to you soon. Bye.